In this video, we are going to continue with improper integrals. You will find this on page 340 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at another example. Determine whether the following integral is convergent or divergent. Can you see the function is just a little bit more complicated? Okay, we're going to do the same. We are going to make, and we can even indicate it here. I can indicate it here by saying negative infinity is equal to t. Okay. So basically, I substitute that into the place of negative infinity. I bring this up. Um, I take it out of the root, a half, and if I bring it up, it's negative half. And now I'm going to integrate. So basically, what stands in front of x, I'm following this rule, okay? It's a 1. So that's why I multiply with 1 over negative 1. Then I add 1, so it will be a half, divide by a half, and if it's going to be uh, a negative half plus a half, so it's going to be a half, which is 2 over 1, multiply that 1 over negative 1, and that's why you got negative 2. Okay. Now I'm going to substitute. Okay. Now, just note that infinity to the power of x is just infinity, if x is bigger. Okay. So if I'm going to do, I substitute, I get this. Now, this is not a problem. Let's just find this one. Let's just replace the infinity sign. So if I replace the infinity sign, and can I just show you here? then this negative negative is just going to become positive. So it's actually going to be 3, what is it, it's, not being, it's going to be 3 plus infinity, and there's the root. And if you add anything to infinity, it's just infinity. Okay, so it's 2, infinity, and if you multiply any, anything with infinity, it's just infinity. So basically, that and the root, just saying the root is just a whole, but it's just infinity. It's just infinity. And now, if you're going to place this, it's going to be this value, but plus infinity. And if you add anything to infinity, it's just infinity. So this whole thing, let me rather indicate it like this, this whole thing will just become infinity. So hence the limit is infinite, and therefore this integral is infinite divergent. Okay, that is very important. Okay, I want you to stop the video um, and I want you to do number A as well as number C. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start with number A. It was 1 and it's negative infinity. And it's going to be 6 minus x dx. And if I want to, I can just say 1, negative infinity. Take it just out of, out of the root. So it's going to be 6 minus x and it's going to be to a power half dx. Just get it ready for, for um, integration. Okay, now you can say, if negative infinity equals t, then 1 over t is equal to 6 minus x to the power of half. Okay, this is this pen. Why would you make me so tired? dx. Okay, now I'm going to integrate. So I'm going to say, remember that's a 1, that's a negative 1. So we're going to follow this rule again. So it's going to be, oh, we can put it in front, that we don't forget it. Otherwise you forget it sometimes. So I prefer to write that smaller. So 6 minus x. Now if it's a half plus 1, it will be 3 over 2. And I just divide 3 over 2. And I'm going to say 1 and t. And that, now, this is going to be negative, so it's going to be negative 2. Keep it in brackets. I just prefer simplifying it first. Um, I can put it back in the root, so 6 minus x. If 
But just remember, this is to the power of 3 and this is the square root. 1 and 2. Okay, now I'm ready for the substitution. So if I substitute, it's going to be, okay, take the negative root 2 thirds out. And then it's going to be 6 minus 1 to the power 3, close the bracket, minus negative 2 over 3, 6 minus t, you can put it in brackets, but due to the positive, I don't think it will have such an effect. Okay. And that will give you now, so let's just keep it in the root, so it's negative 2 over 3, and this is just going to be... Um, 5 to the power of 3, the square root. Okay, a negative negative is positive, and we just can say 6 minus t, and that is to the power of 3. Okay, but now, okay, and I want to move this over. I want to move this a bit up. So as t, as t is striving to a negative infinity or is, then, and I'm, I'm, I'm just concerned about this term. So 6, okay, I can first write it like this. Um, I just want to see, oh, it's good I look at it again. I forgot that 2 over 3. Uh, let's just make this smaller. Let's keep the whole thing. So as t, then um, okay, this one. My pen is getting ready. And this will become, okay, check this now. I just want to get that out of the way. 2 over 3, 6 minus minus infinity. And that will be to the power of 3. And if you want to, I'm just going to keep on with the arrows here. So it's 2 over 3, and let's just think of this. This will be 6 plus infinity. Now, if you, okay, to the power of 3, but, but it doesn't matter. This will be 2. If you add to infinity, it's just infinity. If you say infinity mul multiply, infinity multiply, infinity, it will just be infinity. And if you take the root of infinity, it is just infinity. And if you multiply again with that, it's just infinity. That is, that is the whole story. This is just infinity. So therefore, I just want to move it up. I want to make it red. Therefore, if you are having the question as it was, 1 negative infinity was 6 minus x dx, and that was equal to... Um, negative, this, this value, negative 2 over 3 square root 5 to the power of 3. But now here comes the thing. Plus, in this whole yellow place, we put infinity. And if you add anything to infinity, it is just infinity or subtract. Okay. So therefore, and now you can go on and say hinge, Hinge the improper integral is infinite. Uh, let's just get infinite. And therefore, divergent.
And that is the important. Can I can I just remind you, and if you must always go back to that table on page 338. If you add to infinity, it stays infinite. If you subtract to infinity, it stays infinity. If you multiply with infinity, it stays infinity. The only thing is in when it comes to division. If, if you're going to say infinity, divide the number, it's still infinity. The only time it will become zero is when you say to divide infinity. If the infinity is in the denominator, are you with me? Then it will become zero. Keep that in mind. Okay, let's look at the next one. But always go back to that table on page 338. And as I said, that's, that is just to explain to you a very um, basic explanation. I think you will go further into this infinity at university level. But it's just to help you, with, especially with improper integrals. Okay, let's look at number C. Okay, now number C is the infinity there, and it's the 10. And then it's 1 over 5 minus 2x squared. Yes. And, I, and I can get it ready for integration. Leave, leave, first get it ready always. Then it is 5 minus 2x. And that is going to be, to the, if you take it up, to the power negative 2. And that is going to be dx. Okay. Okay. So basically, um, if I'm, okay, so this is now ready. So now I say um, if. infinity equals t, then I put a t there, a 10, I use that one, 5 minus 2x, and negative 2, and now I'm going to integrate. Okay, so if I integrate, okay, now don't forget, <laughs> it's, it's again this rule, don't forget, grab that negative sign. So it's going to be 1 over negative 2. In this chapter, we don't do a lot of rules. We only do up to this rule. In the next chapter, the further integration, we will look at the lens and the E's, far more difficult uh, rules. But in this chapter, this is actually the reverse of the chain rule. This is the most difficult one in this chapter. Okay, so this is going to be, let's just write it quickly. So, no, I prefer because we divide that I make the bracket just a bit smaller, there's a multiply. So it's 5 minus 2x, negative 2 plus 1, it's negative 1, and I divide by negative 1. And that is going to be t and 10. Okay, now a negative times a negative will end up into a positive, okay? So it's going to be 1 over 2, you should see, yes because that negative. So it's just going to be the bracket. Oh, and, and you take the bracket down, okay? Because it's negative, I think the best will be to make it one over two, and it's not in a root, it's just down to the denominator. Okay, that's where I'm going to substitute, and I'm going to substitute t, and I'm going to substitute 10. And I'm going to do that. So it's going to be one over two, and it's going to be, and the t is now on top, so I substitute that first. I can put the bracket again. Like, okay. Um, yes. Minus. And now I substitute. And it was there. 5 minus 2 t. Okay. So this is 1 over... 2, and I can just leave this in brackets first, uh, 5 minus 2t. Just leave it first like that. I'm not going to multiply them. I can, not necessary. Okay, and now, let's just see. If this is 5 minus 20, okay, so it's negative 15. 
multiply 2, it's negative, so it's going to be like this. Okay, 30. Okay. Okay, now I can start with my statements again, going back to the infinity sign. So I say as t was the replaced by the infinity. Okay, the infinity was replaced by the t, so I go back. Let's just work on this side. Then 1 over 2, 5 minus 2t will be equal to 1 over Let's just get it again. Over 2, 5 minus 2 infinity. Okay. The, the, the most important, and I can go on. If you say 5 minus infinity, it's infinity. If you multiply, it's, but you're going to end up with 1 over infinity. And it's the only time when it's equal to 0. Okay, when the infinity is in the denominator. So, therefore... And now I start with the therefore. Therefore, and what was my original one? Infinity 10, 1 over 5 minus 2x squared will give me, okay, this will just become 0. Do you agree? plus 1 over 30. Okay, and that will be 1 over 30. Oh, I got the number, and I, as soon as I got the number, it's not divergent, but convergent. So I'm going to say hinge, the improper inter grow has a finite value of 1 over 30 and is therefore Convergent. And that is the final. Okay, so this is not divergent but convergent due to the number.